Thank you. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. Yeah, Bijan, did you get any sense that you'd be in the top 10? Like, what was your thought process going into tonight? Yeah, obviously, you know, I was just I was just relying on my faith and wherever I ended up, um, whether it was where it was top 10 or, you know, first round, you know, you, you just never know, you know, in a guy that that's a running back or in my position you know, where I can where I can end up. Um, but for me, it's just like, you know, it's really exciting uh, to, to end up being here. And, you know, obviously, you know, they're, they're, it's a great team that I'm about to go to and with, with, with great guys. And, you know, for, it's just like so exciting, man. I mean. <laughs> I'm just over here speechless. <laughs> What's the sense you get of where maybe you'll fit in the offense? Because between you and Pitts and London and Ritter and Algier, everybody's kind of all on rookie contracts. Like, where do you fit in? You think? Having yeah, I mean, obviously, like the offense is 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 really good uh, with really good talent. And for me, you know, I just want to be a piece in that offense, man, and and do do as much as I can. Um, no, no matter where they line me up at. And I'm just trying to help the help the offense, uh, obviously help the whole team and, you know, make us make us the, the, the team that we are. And, you know, I know that, you know, the, the, the rushing attack uh, is, is really, really good. And, you know, with a really good running back already. And, man, I just want to go in there and just learn from him and, you know, be, be a good teammate. And hopefully, you know, we can make something special happen out of it. Hey, John, I wonder what were your conversations like with the Falcons throughout the draft process, and at any point in those, did you get the sense that they particularly liked like you? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, all the conversations that we had, I mean, they were always super solid, super great. Um, even to talk to them, uh, even when they came came down to Austin, you know, we we had an amazing time uh, talking about you know scheme, what could happen, what what, what we can do. Uh, and I mean, when, when we were, you know, getting to really know each other, you know, obviously, you know, they're all great, great guys um, to work with. And I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just really happy that they took me and that they gave me a chance to, to, to make something happen. Was that visit in Austin the longest talks you had with them, the longest conversations you had with them? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a, it was a visit where they came down. Uh, I guess they you can call it a workout. Um, but it was a, it was a super great opportunity to, to be with them and. To meet with them and to to show them what I what I what I got, um, and it was, I mean it was just pretty pretty amazing. Who from the Falcons was in those meetings? The the GM, head coach, uh, office coordinator, um, and then the strength strength coach, the player personnel guy. Thanks, Bijan. Nice to meet you, Charles. I don't know how many uh, mock drafts you um uh, 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 looked at. Uh, you could have driven yourself crazy. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, but a lot of them increasingly were, were finding a fit between you and the Falcons. Um, did you did you look at that? Did you get excited about that uh, that possibility seeming to, to to be a fit? Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. I mean, for me, I, I try I try not to look at all the, the mock drafts just because you know the, all that stuff can kind of get to your head, and obviously you, you really just don't know until until the day happens. Um, but you know, when when they mocked me to the Falcons, obviously I, I didn't know. Uh, I knew it could be a great fit if if that was to happen, which it which it did happen. Uh, and I mean, I just thank God for it, man, because you know th th this was a, this was a great place to be. Um, and now that you know all the my, my, my drafts are over with, <laughs> now that we're here, you know, I'm just really really happy to be here. Yeah. Did you have any Atlanta connections? Have you spent any time in the city? Uh, yeah, my so my great uh, uncle uh, lives there. Um. And he he's he loves it there. He tells me all the time, man. Like, what if you came to Atlanta? You know, and I'm like, well, we're gonna have to see. Um, but now that I'm there, uh, it, he it'll be, it'll be pretty cool to, to to spend some time with him. Billy Price back here. Um, congratulations on such an amazing night for you. Uh, what are kind of your emotions as you're going across the stage? They had that little, you know, thing where you looked in the mirror and put on the hat. What, take us inside that moment. Yeah, I mean that was like such a great moment. Um, even just like looking in the mirror and just being like, "Man, bro, like, John, you are a Falcon, man." <laughs> uh, it, it was it was pretty special. Uh, and and the hat was the hat was a little big. My head's a little big, so I was trying to <laughs> trying to fit it on as much as I can. Uh, but just to know that that I'm here and even in seeing the fans you know, after I got off the stage and how happy and excited they were, you know, it just made me just so much more excited uh, to want to be a part. And I just can't wait. Just one more question. Um, 
Arthur Smith's offense, how much do you know about it and how he kind of has this run first mentality? Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously great. Uh, and, you know, obviously, I would love to be a part of that and for what he has and, and how he wants to, to, to use me as a player. Um, you know, it's really exciting, especially, you know, because he had guys like Derrick Henry. Um, and, you know, now now that he's here, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty cool to – to see how how he uses me and, and with, you know, with the rest of the guys in the offense. Joe, Patrick, guys on. Yeah, Bijan, at, at the combine, I think you said that you, you know, had talked with the coaching staff here and had a great time. You talked about it here. What what kind of project did they present to you when, when you met with them? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, they're, they're going to try to use me to my full potential, um, whether it's catch the ball at the backfield, you know, line up in the – in the slot area uh, okay. or in the slot position, I'm sorry, uh, and then obviously running back, um, but just just use the skill set uh, in, in, in the most way that they can, uh, and just just let me you know get with mismatches and, and use my guy given talent um, to to do the rest. But that's that's pretty much how you know they we we talked and you know I, it was just great to hear. You know, I love to hear. Are we to a few more? Do you want? Yeah, Coach uh, Sarkeesian had talked about, um, you know, making his receivers mad because he put you in the slot so much. Where'd yeah. You, where'd you work out of, uh, learn how to work out of the slot at, uh, uh, you know, in high school or college or, you yeah, know, yeah. Your receiving so, qualities out of the slot? Yep, yep. So, for me, uh, I played a lot of seven-on-seven seven, um, throughout my middle school and high school career. Uh, and I played strictly receiver during that time. I didn't play no running back. I was a straight receiver. Um, so I mean, I, I, we we joke around. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we joke around because I think it, I think it's true. But with, with the receivers at Texas, and I said I, I had the best hands on the team. Uh, but I always joke with those guys and just, just kind of get them mad a little bit. But I mean, obviously those are my those are my dudes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I take pride in catching the football too, uh, just as much as running the ball and, and blocking. Um, so I think that if you're a complete player, it just, it just makes, you know, the most sense. All right, last one, Michael Russell. Yeah, I got two quick ones for you. Just a clerical thing. Uh, your great uncle lives in Atlanta. Is that Paul who played in the league? Uh, no, 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 that's not him. It's, it's on my uh, my grandma's side. Okay, just want to make sure on that. And also, yeah. I don't know if you saw, but KD tweeted congratulations to you already. Oh. Kevin, like, uh, do you have a relationship with him, or is that just kind of him being a Texas guy? or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, me, me and him, you know, we'll, we'll see each other um, and and we'll obviously chop it up. I mean, I, I respect him a lot. You know, we, we respect each other as athletes and, and especially as people. I mean, Kevin, I mean, that, that dude's a, the most solid dude as it gets. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, we both represent Texas uh, as much as we can. And, you know, he, he's obviously a legend in, in, in his craft and in his game. And I just respect him to, to the highest.